Welcome everyone. In this lecture, we are going to do one example. So we have this self by its configuration given. We have the VDD, which is 20 volt. We have the RD, and the IDSS is 8 milliampere, and VP, the pinch of voltage is minus 6 volt. And again, we have the N channel JPEG. And we need to find VGSQ, IDQ, VDS, VS, VG, and VD. <laughs> so again, we will use the graphical approach <laughs> to use the graphical approach we need to plot two type of characteristics one is the transfer or device characteristics other is the network plot or network characteristic plot so again as we said that this is a self bias configuration and we know that for self bias configuration the network plot equation was given as vgsq is equal to minus id r s and we can easily plot this equation using two points. For ID is equal to zero, we have VGS is equal to zero. And when ID is equal to IDSS divided by two, IDSS divided by two, which is equal to, IDSS is my eight milliampere. So that is divided by two is equal to four milliampere. I have VGS is equal to again minus IDRS so minus 4 milliampere multiplied by RS which is 1 kilo ohm and this comes out to be minus 4 volt so when ID is 4 milliampere VGS is my minus 4 volt so by simply using this point which is 0 0 and these two points which is minus 4 and 4 milliampere I can simply plot this network chart so in the in the next slide if you can have a look we have plot this network chart so this is my first point which is for which is my zero zero point and then this is my second point which is minus four and four milliampere minus four volt for the vgs on the x-axis and four milliampere for the id so by joining these two points i obtain a straight line graph so this is my network curve or network plot next what i am going to do is that i am going to plot the transfer characteristic curve or device characteristic curve so to plot again we are going to use the shorthand method and we are going to only use three points so we are going to use the shorthand method and we know that from transfer characteristics when vgs is equal to zero volt ID is equal to IDSS. In this case, the IDSS was 8 milliampere. So this is my one point. And again, when VGS equals to VP, in this case, the VP was minus 6 volt. ID is equal to 0 milliampere. And this is my second point. Finally, these were my two extreme points. And finally, my third point is that when VGS is equal to 0 0.5 VP, which means that when VGS is equal to minus 3 volt, I have ID is equal to IDSS divided by 4. Which in this case comes out to be 8 milliampere divided by 2, which comes uh, divided by 4, which comes out to be 2 milliampere. So I have now these two P points, which is 0, 8, this was my point 1, point 2, which was minus 6, 0 and point 0.3 which was minus 3 and 2 milliampere and this is also my milliampere so i'm going to plot this if we can have a look we have plotted these two points let me remove the annotations we have one point over here we have the second point over here and finally the third point over here so this is my device characteristic curve and now what i'm going to do is that i am going to superimpose this characteristic this graph on this I am going to superimpose this line on this on this plot so I am going to superimpose the line over here and why when I superimpose this vertical line this network characteristic curve on this device characteristic curve I am going to get a common point which is called the Q point so I got a Q point or operating point or quotient point here and if you can have a look we have IDQ which is 2.6 milliampere and VGSQ minus 2.6 volt. So we have VGSQ find out which is minus 2.6 volt 
and we also have IDQ find out which is 2.6 milli ampere next is to find the voltage VDS and VDS is equal to VDD minus ID RD plus RS so simply I'm going to put in the values VDD is 20 volt and ID was minus 8 RD I'm going to simply put the values of RD and RS and R, RD was 1 kilo ohm and RS was 3.3 .3 kilo ohm so when I put in the values I got the VDS is equal to 2.6 volt sorry 8.82 .8 volt so the VDS is equal to the 8.82 .8 volt next is to find the VS and Vs is you know equal to IDRS so and ID is equal to 2.6 milliampere as we found out from here and RS is the 1 kilo ohm RS is the 1 kilo ohm so it comes out to be 2.6 volt so Vs comes out to be 2.6 volt Next is the VG. There is no VG, so VG is equal to 0 volt. This was comparatively easy. And finally, we have the VD, and VD is equal to VDS plus VS. So 8.8 to plus VS, VS is 2.6 volt, and this comes out to be 11.42 volt. So this is my VD. So we have found out all the unknowns.